Hi everyone. Today I am going to tell you two short stories from Akbar and Birbal. So, the name of the first story uh, is uh, a collection of candlesticks. So, let me begin the first one. King Akbar was very much fond of collecting the candlesticks. They were beautiful and even he loved those candlesticks so much that a separate room was arranged for its display. And he gave a strict order to his servants that they must be very careful while they are dusting the tables and the candlesticks. So one day uh, his servant was clean, one of the servants, he was cleaning the table at that time a candlestick fell on the ground and broke it. And by chance that time King Akbar was there in that room. So when he saw that he got very angry, he became furious and immediately he asked the guards to hang this servant. Then he went away. The servant, poor servant, became very sad and he also didn't know what to do. When King Akbar said this, Birbal came to know uh, after a while. But he thought that this is not good because poor servant, he didn't know without his knowledge, he, the candlestick fell on the ground and broke. So it was not his fault. So what he did, he whispered something on his uh, the servant's ear. Then next day, the guard, the soldier, the uh, soldier came to this servant and asked about his last wish. Then the servant said, "I will tell uh, about my wish in front of His Majesty." Means. Uh, King Akbar. Then the soldiers took him to King Akbar's court. There Akbar asked, yes, tell me your last wish. Then the servant said, your majesty, my last wish is to break all the candlesticks. Then King Akbar became more angry. He said, why? Why do you want so? Then the servant said, Your Majesty, if by mistake any other candlestick will be uh, broken by any servant, then they will be punished. They will be punished with death. I don't want that. Just to save the other servants, I want to break all the candlesticks. When he said this, King Akbar understood that. Really, for such a small mistake, he should not have given this death penalty. Then he, once again, he relieved that servant let, and told him to go and work. This one is the first story. The name of the second story is, um, second story is, uh, just one minute. And let me recollect the name of that, what I had given. It was about, um, actually I wrote the name but I forgot. However, the name of the second story is A Bitter Truth. So, one day a fortune teller visited to uh, Birbal's neighbor's house. His name was Raghuram. Birbal's neighbor was Raghuram. When the fortune teller uh, came to his house, Raghuram asked about his future. While he was telling so many things at that time also, he said, Ki o Raghuram, give alms to the poor and don't be too greedy because that would lead you to uh, your downfall. Better you should uh, give alms to the poor 
that will help you. When he said this, Raghuram became very angry and he asked that fortune teller to leave his house. While he uh, said to the fortune teller like this, go out, at that time Birbal was there, he was just passing through that passage. So he heard it. Then later he asked the fortune teller why Raghuram asked him to go out, why he drove him, drove him out. Then the fortune teller said, what can I do? I saw his uh, palm and I saw, I told him about the bitter truth. I told him that if he would become greedy, it would lead him to his downfall. And I requested him to give the alms to the poor. That made him angry. That is why he told me to get out. Then Birbal said, well, you do one thing. We should have to tell him some sweet truth. So now Birbal uh, told the fortune teller what to say in the next day. Next day, the same fortune teller uh, in disguise of an old man went to Raghuram's house. Raghuram was always uh, anxious to know about his future. So, however, when he saw this old man uh, um, in his house, he asked him to sit and that old man said that he knew how to see the palm. So immediately Raghuram showed his palm. Now this old man in disguise said that, My Lord, O oh son, you are very fortunate. You are so lucky. You just, if you give alms to the poor na, you will become double prosperous. You will be a very, very rich man and you will be counted as a noble man. What I see on your palm. Then Raghuram became very happy and he gave uh, a bag of gold coin as a gift to that old man. Now the old man came back and told people everything what had happened. And the old man, the fortune teller also thanked Birbal for helping him. Then Birbal said, you know what, it is much better to say something uh, straightway, uh, it is much better how you present the same thing uh, rather than saying it straight forward. Like you told him that um, your downfall will come. That one is a negative word. But the same thing you said that you would become prosperous if you uh, give the alms to the poor. Both the statements were same but in a different way. So always try to speak in a positive way rather than in a negative way. Thank you so much. These are the two stories for today. I'll meet you once again with another new story. Thank you.